Hey everybody, this is Hannah from Stonehouse Photo again. I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to make watermarks in Lightroom. First we'll start with uh, a PNG image to make a watermark that's an actual file that you have as your logo. And the second we'll do is a text watermark, which is what I use on my photos. So let's load up a picture. We have a nice uh, short hair right here and in order to do a watermark you go up to file export and I have a little setting here for Facebook when I create images for Facebook that's a preset you'll see the user presets right here I have a bunch uh, so you pick where you want the photo to go I want it to go in the same folder as the original photo um, subfolder I have is FB for Facebook and these are the file settings for what I want to be, actually be exported uh, and I have resize to fit and I have it for 1100 pixels um, that's just something I do and you can make them for whatever you'd like and then here is the magical watermark button and I have something I have a bunch of different presets for watermarks but what we'll go is you'll see an edit watermarks and you want to click on that and this will show you how to make one let's say we want to you've got two styles of watermarks you can choose from text or graphic we're gonna try a graphic one here so you hit graphic and then it goes and it, it wonders where you have put the file that you want and I have it in here and we have it on we click on that and this watermark effects is where you pick where it goes so the anchor one I want it to actually go up here and you can do proportional you can do fit so let's say we want proportional so we're gonna pull that out or if you do fit you'll go that one fill that's huge so I'm just gonna keep it proportional I'm gonna make that a little smaller and you can move it around with here and tell you where you want it to go that kind of thing um, and you'll notice that this file since it's a PNG file it's clear in the background and this is a black one if you want it to show up a different color you have to actually change the file to change that color so and you have little you know options here so just play around with it like I've said before you can't break Lightroom so just play around and see what you come up with and what you like and again this is the graphic one so I hit save and I'm gonna call this one Stonehouse photo black right upper and so I like to describe each one of them because sometimes I'll I'll export a bunch of different photos and I want it in a specific place on the photo itself so I'll pick for each one I'll pick a different uh, spot so hit create and then you can hit export and I'll export it for you so skip. and let's see okay so now we're gonna try one with a text which is actually what I normally use so you hit export go down hit edit watermarks and click on text and this is where you get to play around when you just want to do text ones um, and you can pick any different font you want from anything that's installed on your computer I just like to play around with this one style you can do bold italic bold italic uh, regular doesn't matter you can align it any way you want it's basically like a word processing program and you can pick the color so just play around and you can you can do whatever we'll do black for this one you can click shadow if you want and play around with that just depends on your personal preference and what the font is you can change the opacity you can again change the size the inset all of that and the anchor wherever you want it just play around with it and again you can't break it so just play around uh, and then hit save and put in whatever your your name you want let's do uh, black stone house 
black stone house, upper right uh, font, because that not that would not be spelled correctly. Font, and then you create it, and then it's just in here. So anytime you have a logo or a watermark, it'll show up here, and you can just pick which one you want, and then hit export. So that is the very simple way to have watermarks on photos in Lightroom. Again, go to File. Once you have your edit done, go to File, Export, and then figure out where you want your location, what you want, if you want to change the file name, the file settings, the image size, and then go to Watermarking and either choose one you've already created or hit Edit Watermarks, and you can create a new one. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.